All right, now we are finally having our third round, benchmarks. We already tested Genshin Impact, and then with round two, we did several back-to-back -back 4K rendering tests. Today, we'll be doing a 45-minute stress test, which consists of three different benchmark tests. However, unlike before, these tests will be performed back-to-back -to, -back to see how each phone performs under extreme stress. Quick note, I did manually reset my S24 Ultra as this drastically improved benchmark performance. Therefore, I suggest my fellow S24 users to do the same. So with the first test, here we have Geekbench 6, a CPU test. Now that the first test is complete, to be quick, as I do also want these devices to still remain hot for the purpose of the stress test, here we can see the iPhone scoring roughly 29% higher in single core and 6% for multi-core performance. Now moving on to GPU, our next test will be a 20 minute extreme GPU test as we use 3DMark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test. Again, these tests are back to back so results will be naturally lower than a test where the devices are properly cooled. Now that the second test is complete, again, to be quick so that we can move on to the last test while the devices are still hot, if we specifically look at loop 20 or the 20th minute in this test, the Galaxy S24 Ultra scored much higher here than the iPhone and therefore won this second round. Yes, stability is much higher on the iPhone, but what matters most is the performance results toward the end as this reflects what GPU performance will look like after long durations of use. Anyways, let's move into our last test, the Solar Bay Extreme test. This is different than the Wildlife Extreme, as this test specifically focuses on each phone's ray tracing capabilities for those games that utilize this technology. And again, these tests are back to back, so results will be naturally lower than a test where the devices are properly cooled. And here we go. Now with this third test complete, it is clear the S24 Ultra won by a huge margin when it comes to ray tracing. Again, if we look at what's most important, Loop 20, we see a massive 26% performance gap between both the S24 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Plus, for extra salt to injury, the S24 Ultra scored better in stability versus what we saw in the Wildlife Extreme test. So, as we can conclude, the S24 Ultra won overall in this benchmark comparison as it won two out of the three rounds. Now, before I end this video, I already know some of you are probably thinking, or even going to comment in the comment section, that I should retest Genshin Impact because I manually reset my S24 Ultra and am now experiencing much better performance results. Well, I am one step ahead and I did retest. However, performance is still relatively the same. Unfortunately, Resetting my S24 Ultra did not improve my Genshin Impact FPS performance. Henceforth, this still leads me to believe benchmarks do not tell the whole story. So please stay tuned as I will be testing Warzone Mobile next for the fourth round, along with some other games and or apps you all suggested in previous videos. With that being said, please take care and see you all next week.